All right, hi guys. Um, we are going to calculate Simpson's index. Uh, this is another biodiversity um, index. And this tells us about the evenness of the community that we're looking at. So the closer the value is to one, the more dominant one species is, the closer it is to zero, the more evenly spread um, the species distribution is. All right, so to do this, we need the percentage of the species that we calculated earlier. Um, so we're gonna go over here to our other tabs and we are going to copy our percent species. So we're gonna highlight all the cells that we want and we're going to copy those and then come over here to our diversity index tab. Um, and you're gonna have to do a couple of fancy things to paste it. Um, so we're gonna paste it first in a random part of our spreadsheet. And we're gonna paste special and only paste the values. And then we're gonna copy it again, and we're gonna paste it starting with the first cell we needed in. And this time we're gonna paste special and paste them transposed so that they go in a column. Um, and again, we don't really have that many significant digits in our data. Um, so we're going to cut this down to about one. Uh, and then we're going to delete this data that we don't need. Um, so command shift and the right arrow will highlight all that and you can delete it. All right. Um, so you guys can go ahead and add in the fish trap data as well. Um, I'm not going to do that for this example for the sake of time. All right. So now we need these values as a decimal. So these are in percentages. Um, now we need them as a decimal. Uh, so we're going to just divide by 100 to do that. So equals this guy divided by 100. And we'll copy that formula down. Okay. And again, we don't really have that many significant digits. So we're going to chop it all off. All right, and our formula is that, um, so Simpson's index is the sum of the square of all of the uh, proportions of each individual species. Uh, so we have our proportion and now we're gonna calculate the square of the proportion. So we'll just do equal sign this to the second power. All right, so there we are. And we'll copy that down. And we'll cut off our digits. It's not super important in this. We need to cut it down off here. All right. Um, so then we'll calculate our final Simpsons index. So we're going to do the sum. So we'll do equal sign sum of all of the squares of the proportions. And so you guys will also use all of that fish trap data as well. If there are any fish um, species that weren't caught in a fish trap, so there's zero for the percentage of species, um, then just delete that species altogether from your uh, data set. Um, that's fine. Alrighty, so uh, our Simpsons index is 0.378, um, or 0.38 is probably a better uh, number of significant digits. Um, and so you will compare this Simpson index to the Simpson index of the fringing reef. And if you're feeling really fancy, maybe you want to do this four times and do it another time for the patch reef and the fringing reef, leaving the oysters out, um, because we know that they're kind of like the foundational species. And so they're going to be dominant. Um, and to look at the other species, if we consider the oysters like the physical part of the habitat. All right. Um, so hopefully uh, that helps you figure out which type of oyster reef is best to spend our precious dollars on to restore uh, so that Charlie and the fish and his friends and family will have a great place to live. All right. Thanks, guys.